Welcome back to channel, it's Mace from the Mace Creation. By the way, if it's so first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel. Remember, we are looking at a road 5000 and before the end of this year, it is only your support that you're going to help me to reach this target. Something that we need to understand. No, we are looking at uh, frequently asked questions about security guard. And the next question that is always asked is that, uh, how can I become a security guard in Qatar? Yes, it's quite very easy to become a security guard. Remember, a security guard jobs is one of the easiest jobs that you can access because there's no need academic qualifications for anyone who has a mental ability to speak, a mental ability to reason, can be a security guard depending on what kind of animal requirements that you are supposed to get. It's one of the easier unskilled jobs that you can easier get here in Qatar. For those people that are already here or they had the opportunity for that, definitely you will agree with me. But however, still much as we have to look at it being the one of the unskilled easier jobs to get, there are also some things that you need to fulfill for you to become a security guard. Uh, well, we shall start with what we call from our, away from our country is that you need to prepare your mind that this is the kind of profession I want to go and this is what I'm going to do. So when you already organize your brain and say I'm going to Qatar or I'm going to any of the Gulf countries, I want to do security, then make sure that you prepare yourself. One, you have to prepare your passport because your passport is going to be your gateway to another country country then you must have what you call a visa you must have a visa then the visa will accommodate you or allow you to get through the immigration to enter the country and something else that you need to have you need to have what you call an air ticket that will flow you from one country to another so that is how how easily it can come for you to become a security guard then you need to know how to speak because you'll get into an interview they'll definitely look for your height they'll look for how you can reason they'll look at if you have some of the basics basics of security guard depending on who is going to interview you or who is going to be looking for the man personnel to work as security guard in the company so meaning that by the time you get to start up you should be well prepared for yourself to take up such a kind of thing to be to be or to prove out yourself that you are the best candidate for and best candidate and fit for the job at the same time so uh, probably there are a lot of recruitment agencies uh, out get to advertise jobs on behalf of other companies for example here in Qatar and those are the best companies that you can go to they can do the selection they do the interview and once you get through then probably they will definitely uh, take a record of your name until the next visa that comes that will when you get to pass also that visa or when you get to pass that interview in one way that you find yourself that you will definitely be given a visa to come into your country and start like a country. Uh, some, sometimes if people ask, is it okay that I can move with what you call my academic document? Yes, it has no worry. You can have your document with you. You never know an opportunity that comes your way and you're ready to spark it out. So when that opportunity comes and you really need to spark it out, definitely it will be the right chance uh, when they need someone that already has some kind of education and proof of experience in that area. So you become a uh, you become a, uh, you become uh, you become one of those people that can be looked at and definitely you may end up yourself getting a job in one way or the other. So you find yourself that in uh, some uh, some instances is that you need to have some basic skills. You need to have some basic uh, uh, skills like you need to know how to speak in English. If you're not English, you need to know how to speak in Arabic. Then you have some customer skills and you should know at least some part of uh, the equipments that you are supposed to use. And However, when you come to some of these companies, they definitely do what you call an induction training. And those induction training, they will definitely do a lot of treatment a lot of equipment training and they'll definitely give you those basic skills skills that you definitely need to have for you to survive hope i've tried to share something for you thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it's mix from the mix creation but remember you should have your passport you should have your visa you should have the requirements and you should have that company or you should know that company you're going to work with, uh, for then definitely it's going to be one of the easiest way and another easiest way definitely when you think about that you can also still uh, get through friends you can get through the friends you move around the mall you find security you can ask them about their company they will definitely if they're willing they'll will definitely let you know then something also you can apply online for some of the security job companies for example indeed.com uh, link it uh, those are very good uh, uh, websites where you can definitely apply and try to see you never know you may be learning your security job in one way or 
in a few minutes at the same time. Thank you so much for coming back to Service Mix from the next question. See you again in the next video.